Boom! Oh god, that was actually really loud. I ordered over $1,000 worth of Nintendo Switch video games from Play Asia. I ordered these two months ago. Something that's kind of frustrating is if one of the things you order doesn't release for months, they'll hold your entire order back until it's out. I don't know what game held up this delivery, but I have completely forgotten what I ordered. I hope they're good. <laughs> The reason why I like buying games from PlayAsia is I'm a Switch collector. I got a whole wall of the crap behind me here. And there's so many regional exclusives. So let's see what I got. Oh my gosh. Oh. Speaking of things that get delivered to my house every month and also are imported and really fun. Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. Or Sakurako. Get it right eventually. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Oh my god. It's Halloween themed. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box. Oh, even the Kit Kats this time. Halloween break. I say this every time, but the Kit Kats are always my favorite. They don't make a bad Kit Kat. You'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. They're only available in Japan for a limited time. My God, these snacks, just look at that. Okay, okay, sorry. All right, so obviously, Obviously popular snacks, right? But if you ain't all about the popular life, like me in high school, Sakurako is also a Japanese snack subscription box, but in this one, you'll get traditional and authentic Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas, an authentic piece of tableware, and it's a little cute dish. So this box pairs with local Japanese snack makers, aims to share these experiences, these Japanese culture with the rest of the world. My favorite thing about this box is there's so many little biscuits that pairs so nicely with teas and the teas that they give you in here. Perfect for winding down in an evening. So this month's theme for Tokyo Treat is spectacular snacking. Sweet potato Kit Kats, Halloween caramel corn, and Sakurako's theme is Ibaraki Harvest. It's a sweet potato cake and Ibaraki blueberry manju. And if you're worried about not knowing what's in either box, don't be. They both come with these really awesome little booklets filled with information and dietary restrictions on every single treat. Now, now, if you want to get either the heaviest Japanese subscription box or one that's filled with authentic snacks, good news, there's links down below. And if you use code BEATEMUPS, you'll get $5 off your first box. Big thank you as always to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring my videos. Now I've got to try and make the rest of this video while having these snacks taunt me in the background. Okay, that's enough snacks. Where were we? Oh my lord. I think we gotta get the big boy out of the way first. I'm gonna put this over to the side a little bit and hopefully my camera won't decide to focus on the box in the foreground like it decides to do often when I make videos. Oh my god. I don't even know why. I know why I bought it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's for train games. Specifically, Daisha Dego, I believe it's pronounced, which I did buy and we're gonna find the game and play it. It's somewhere in this box. All right, let's take a look at it. Oh, I gotta say, it's actually a really nice controller, though. Really weighted and heavy, which is what you want, so it doesn't slip and slide around. Oh! Can you hear that? Yo, that has, like, clicks. It clicks. But let's put that to the side, because we're here for games. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I actually tweeted this the other day, but I recently went to a game store near me. I didn't realize Klonoa had a release here. I have two copies of this now. I'd love to do another giveaway. I'm gonna do it on Twitch though, because every time I do a YouTube giveaway, like with the Splatoon video, those damn scammers in the comments messaging everyone with, hey, you won, message me on Telegram. I got so many emails saying, oh, I won the Splatoon. I'm not doing a YouTube giveaway again. They're ruining it for everyone. I'll do it on my next Twitch stream, so come by. There's links down below. So this is the Klonoa double pack. It has Klonoa 1 and 2. Highly recommend these if you've never played them. This I've been waiting to get for a long time, but it's the first three Dragon Quest games. It really speaks for itself. It's just a cool collector's item. I've never played the original Dragon Quest games, so this is definitely a fun way to do it. However, I don't believe this one does support multi-language, and if I'm wrong, 
It's here, the editor. Thank you so much. Oh, two sick games that actually look really good next to each other. Ender Lilies and Fatal Frame. So Fatal Frame is a really great horror game that originally released on the Wii U and I never played it. The cool thing I believe with the Wii U port was you could use the Wii U pad as the camera, which was a really cool idea. And then Ender Lilies, really fantastic 2D Souls-like game where you use the souls of fallen heroes to attack for you. The art style is gorgeous. The music is fantastic. I'm really loving the chill vibes of this. This is, this is like a pickups video that I would have done nine years ago when I started my channel. Oh yeah! I bought this! I have no idea what it is! <laughs> the cover art and aesthetic reminds me of like a Nino Kuni game or Boldo. I think this one was purely just for the collection. Would why? Why did I buy H-Word versus Evil? Oh no, I remember why. I was looking at the gameplay and it's weirdly like Fortnite, but with waifu girls. Visually, it didn't look too bad. No, that's not what I mean. I'm gonna have to play this one, which also doesn't sound good. I get through all of these and this is the one where I'm like, well, you know, I have to play for research purposes. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to me playing it right now and you're gonna see what I mean. H versus evil. I'm expecting Fortnite with boobies. Oh my God, we're off to a heck of a start. Why are two of them chained up in jail cells looking sad? Oh my God, you can make the thighs bigger and other things. No. <laughs> okay, we can put some clothes on. Okay, good. Oh, some cat ears. Yep, good. Oh, change the hair color. Oh, and like a whole range of skin colors. Let's, uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Oh my god. Yep, it is Fortnite. It is, it's literally Fortnite. This feels like it was made in PlayStation 5's dreams. Oh my god. Open the cage and save the girl. Oh, we have to save a girl. Oh, shoot. Get away from me. I think literally all I can do is jump. And by the way, what is that jump animation? That's not a double jump. I'm only pressing it once. Okay, I'm gonna go to that red beam over there, which I'm hoping is a waypoint and not a glitch. Because at this point, it could really be anything. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, that's definitely a reaper. Oh, that's definitely a reaper. It's bad. It's obviously bad, but I can't save her yet. Oh, wait, a shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Game of the year. Um, um, um. Okay, well, now I'm at five and there is two more here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. One more, then we save the girl. Okay, we did it. Let's go save the girl. Easy peasy. Did that... Did every zombie just drop dead when I unlocked that? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, and now I've unlocked that as a character. Wait, uncensored. Oh, oh! I'm going to have to blur this out. I guess what I should have expected. And yet I didn't. I didn't. I didn't expect it. That's the whole game, by the way. There's three levels. I guess you have to kill a certain amount of those things. And then you get to save a new character that you can play as. And um, it's my favorite game ever. <laughs> So anyway, moving on from that, Metallic Child. I don't think I knew at the time or even know now looking at it what kind of game this was. I think, again, I just really liked the cover art. This one almost looks like a fan art case for this game, but I kind of love that about it. Summer in Mara is a game I have played. I reviewed it, I believe, in one of my eShop videos. Massive Wind Waker vibes, but at the same time was a completely different game. It had farming elements. You started off on this little island. You build and craft up a little boat. You get to sail to another island with a ton of shops and little missions and side quests for you to do. It was such a charming little game. Okay, all right. There's one I know that I ordered that started all of this and I'm waiting to get to it. It wasn't Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana on the Super Nintendo was always compared to Legend of Zelda because they have very similar aesthetics and vibes. And this is the HD remaster for the game. But again, didn't get a physical here. And this one just looks so, Cool. Oh, 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 I sorry, I gotta stop <laughs> peeking at what's coming. But Ultra Age, another game that I reviewed in my eShop video. You might be seeing a trend here. These digital only release games that I fall in love with that get physical releases overseas. If I see one, of course I'm gonna grab it. This game is very Devil May Cry Bayonetta inspired, but it's like a full big exploration game with this really fun hack and slash combat. This is the Japanese import that started it all.
Four, Final Fantasy Nine. While it only released digital on the eShop here for 20 bucks, so I didn't think it needed a physical by any means, and I happily bought it when it released, but finding out that it had one was a no-brainer for me. And this is a really interesting box art. It's flipped on its side, then they filled the horizontal space with all of the playable characters from the game. And these really nice rendered models of each of them too. And everyone talks about Seven, and Seven is of course really good, but I always preferred Nine. Just the story of Z-Day trying to save the princess of Garnet. You can see how me being a young Zelda fan and just a fan of adventure games in general, that that story really resonated with me. Young Souls. I haven't played this one. I know nothing about it. It just looked fun. Oh my Lord. There's so much left. I gotta keep going. I gotta hurry up. I wanna play some of... Why did I buy metal dogs? Oh, that's why I bought it. Look how cute they are. <laughs> You know, I don't know how this game is going to go, but everything from the hilariously bad, but so fun cover art. So the art style on the back, the art style here. There's so much to love about the presentation of Metal Dogs. I'm gonna try my best, but it is in Japanese. Weirdly, it says now loading in English though. Oh, hello. So I'm a doggo with a machine gun on my back. You got a few different moves here. It kind of feels Diablo-y. Oh my Lord. You know, I gotta be honest. I usually don't don't like games like this. And I mean, oh no, I don't like it. Every time I lose, I have to see that. Oh, I was supposed to lose there. Is this gonna end up being a roguelite then? Yeah, I'm starting from scratch here. I only have one gun and I'm a baby puppy. Oh, and my gun is way worse now. And now I'm just fighting like bugs and stuff. It has to be a roguelite. I wouldn't like this game normally, but the doggo makes it a little bit more fun. But I do like roguelites. This could actually be a decent game. I might even do a cheeky little little look and see. Oh, it, the game is in early access on Steam. It has 598 reviews and very positive. Oh, this is not a roguelite. This is more like a normal hub-based action RPG. Not that I don't like it, just pointing it out for people that think this is a roguelite. Okay, funny that it turned out to not be too bad, though. I really thought that one was going to be horrible. Oh, yeah. I actually don't think I will like this as a game. Cyberpunk Bartender Action. It looks like a visual novel game, and you guys guys know uh, me and visual novels don't have a great recent history. The real reason why I bought it is I just loved the cover art. It has a ton of personality. This was definitely just a collection purchase. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so I had a plan to buy Eastwood from PlayAsia for months now, almost a year. Eastwood is easily one of my favorite eShop games of late. It's gorgeous. I wouldn't even say some of the best pixel art style. I would say the best pixel art style you'll ever see. So much attention to detail. The adventure, the story, the gameplay is all top notch. Yeah, no, I love this game and I'm really happy I finally bought that. Chrono Cross by Square Enix. I haven't played this game yet, either on the Switch or when it originally originally released. I'm definitely a broken record in this video, but look at that cover art. Of course I was going to buy that. Oh, finally. Densha Dego, <laughs> the train game. I imagine without this thing, this game's got to be pretty dang boring. My buddy Bob already has this and made a video on it, which is why I even know about it. Oi! I'm hungry. I've been making this video for a while. Oh, I got a bunch of snacks. I got my train snacks from Tokyo Treat. I have no idea what I'm agreeing to. Oh, I gotta, I gotta open the, oh, I gotta, there's so much to do. People are getting on. I gotta close the doors. I am gonna hurt some people. I have no idea what's being said to me. Oh, this is cool. Wow, visually, it's really not too bad. Beep, beep. Oh, you press B to like flash your lights at other trains. I don't know why. Okay, so I gotta stop there. Okay, I'm stopping the train. I'm stopping the train. Oh, I'm missing it by tw by 25 meters. Oh, I messed up. It's because this, it got stuck and I couldn't, I forgot you have to press the button in to go further back. I can do better. I can do better. All aboard. Everybody on. Stopping at all stations. The one thing I'm going to get right this time, I'm going to nail stopping. I'm going to get right on that line. That's going to be the one thing they can't fault me for. Stopping. Wait, how did I get way worse than last? 
last time. I stopped before the line. Oh my God, I did so much worse. Oh, it's raining. What a vibe. Everybody on. It's wet out there. Watch your step. This is a really nice vibe. Okay, so I flashed my lights at that guy and that seemed to be good. Okay, so I can do 95. So I might speed up a little bit. Speed limit's 95. We could probably go full. Alert information. Okay, I'll slow down. I don't know why. Oh, because the speed limit dropped to 55. Okay. Oh, I got to slow back down to 45. Okay. I'm doing good. I'm getting points this time. Gotta stop pretty soon. So I'm gonna start slowing down now. Okay, the brakes are on. Might have been a little too soon, actually. Might have been a little too soon. Might speed up a little bit. A little too soon. And now we'll throw on the brakes. Throw on the brakes. Throw on the brakes. So proud of myself. So happy. Let's see how I did. Boom. Six points. Nine, six, 12. Keep racking them up. 15. Hey, I got an A. All right. If I keep playing this, I'm going to have too much fun and get accidentally addicted. Ooh. Okay, we got a couple more games that I definitely only bought for the cover art. I can't even look up what this game is. There's no English on this at all. But again, look at it. The little cat guy down there. You're wondering why I bought this? Alba Wildlife Adventure. I don't remember that one at all. I think I was banking on that having English. And then Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Look, rip, rip, broken record. Me coming in again. God, that was cringe. No physical here. Look, the game kind of tanked on Switch. Kind of tanked in general. This kind of remake of the game was screwed up. You either loved it or you hate it. It was multiplayer for four players. I am a big fan of the original. The idea of it coming to Switch was fantastic. I'm trying to remember now offhand, something about the multiplayer was completely botched. Final fantasy doesn't have any local multiplayer options even though it's tailor-made for that style of gameplay the online multiplayer is region locked so you can't enjoy the game with friends who live in another country why limit the options of a game like that that said i was a fan of the game back in the day so i really just wanted this one in the collection i think this is literally the last one it's a big box too it's really the only special edition i got why? Why did I get this? I mean, it doesn't look bad by any means, but I don't see me forking out for a special edition on something that probably has a standard. I'm gonna have to go to my computer to figure this one out. Okay, so I didn't buy the special edition of this. I definitely only paid 30 bucks. I want to play this, so we're going to open up and see what the special edition comes with, since I have no idea now that I didn't buy that. Oh, so we have an art book and we have a soundtrack. Hey, that's a really nice little upgrade. Thank you, PlayAsia. Okay, start. Okay, oh, it's in English. We had a nice little cutscene of me floating down from space onto a planet. Okay, spring day two. We're already on day two. A new day begins and there's lots to be done. First, I shall collect some berries from the bushes by the lake. All right, so we're diving straight in. Definitely getting Animal Crossing vibes, although the planet is much smaller than I expected it to be. This feels more like Mario Galaxy than Stardew Valley right now. I mean, I do like the visuals so far. It's just kind of an odd choice here, I think. Oh, okay, wait, what's happening now? Hello, I didn't realize you were here. I live here alone? You don't really live here alone. You kind of just appeared here yesterday. He's very comfortable with everything so far. All right, the pacing of this game's kind of whack, and I think the story is just a means to an end. We're already making a farming tool, and we already have the stone and the wood to make it. I didn't even have to collect that. It said there were NPCs to talk to. Do they all just come and visit this little area, or...? Okay, so I'm glad they sent the special edition and it's definitely gorgeous box art. However, I cheated a little bit. This felt kind of budgety. I looked up Switch Up's review, friend of the show, and I liked them a lot. I trust their reviews too, and they gave it like 58%, said it felt very stiff and wooden. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping to get stuck into that one a little bit more. So that was everything Play Asia sent me for the thousand dollars that I spent. Obviously, these weird and wackies at the end were just for fun. I like having them in the collection for the most part. If you want to see a video where I review some of those games, I can do that separately. Just let me know in the comments. Like the video and subscribe. It's because of you guys that I get to make videos like this. Check out Tokyo Tree. Links down below for that as well. I have nothing else to say except goodbye.